Welcome everyone to Gamer Meld. Today we talk a more powerful Navi GPU, next gen quote Nvidia killer is spotted, Polaris gets replaced, MSI made a boo boo, and the new Threadripper socket is here to stay. But first, check out today's sponsor, Drop. Formerly known as MassDrop, a group buy website with amazing deals on PC hardware. It's free to sign up, and if you do it today, you'll get $20 off your first drop made items. So head to the link in the description below. Okay, it's news time, and first up for today, we have some reports on AMD's more powerful Navi GPU, and we finally found the quote, NVIDIA killer. That's right, potentially capable of toppling the great 2080 Ti, or even competing against Ampere. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, in August, Red Gaming Tech ran a story about two new Navi-based GPUs from a previously reliable source. The GPUs were called Navi 21 and Navi 23. Now, remember that the 5700 and 5700 XT are Navi 10 based cards. At the time, his source also told him that Navi 23 is internally called the NVIDIA killer. Well, a user at 3dcenter.org recently found Navi 21, 22, and 23 in a Linux driver from AMD. So this is the first time we've seen any real proof of this. Basically, Red Gaming Tech Source, at the very least, guessed right here. Obviously, I'm hoping it was more than a guess, and if that's the case, this confirms a seriously powerful GPU from AMD is coming. Unfortunately, this does seem to be a next-gen part, likely the RX 6000 series, given AMD follows their naming scheme, which means it likely won't be released until the end of next year. With that said, according to Red Gaming Tech Source in a recent report, Navi 12, which should be more powerful than AMD's current 5700XC, is expected earlier next year. Of course, if Nvidia releases Ampere early next year like we've seen rumored, AMD may be in trouble. Let's just say 2020 is shaping up to be a really big year. Then again, this year still isn't over, and the RX 5500 might finally replace AMD's Polaris GPUs, or at least the 570, 580, and 590. In some newly leaked AMD marketing slides where the company lists their GPUs, the higher-end Polaris cards are missing. Instead, we have the RX 5500 and 5500M. Now, I will say that I know Polaris does fairly well for AMD and their overseas markets are still great for it, but this is clearly a big step in the right direction to their replacement. Another interesting bit of information from these are some new performance metrics, and you can see that the 5500 creams NVIDIA's 1650, though of course their 1650 Super is set for release soon, so we'll have to see how they stack up. With that said, because the 1650 Super actually has more cores, the price may be a bit more than the 1650, meaning AMD could potentially do great here as well. And of course, there's that 5500 XT that we've seen rumored, so hopefully it can challenge the 1660 and potentially even the 1660 Super. We'll just have to wait and see. Next up for today, MSI made a boo-boo. In a recent video from the company which showcases their upcoming TRX40 Creator motherboard, we get some pretty clear proof of AMD's 64-core 128-thread Threadripper CPU. Unfortunately, while the video has since been replaced, clearly taking out their mistake, WCCF Tech did get a screenshot. As you can see, the host has Task Manager pulled up, and if we take a closer look, there's actually 128 threads. Yep, 8 times 16 equals a sad MSI. If you follow the channel, many of you know that current leaks suggest AMD's Threadripper 3990X isn't set for release until next year. But remember that their other CPUs were postponed already, though not by much. Either way, it definitely seems AMD is in fact planning to release a 64-core 128-thread behemoth of a CPU. That isn't a server chip. Lastly for today, while sticking to Threadripper, it appears AMD plans to keep their new STRX4 socket around for quite some time. Found on the initial announcement from AMD, they mentioned something quite interesting. It states, quote, The socket change also sets us up nicely for future development and scalability of the Threadripper platform, both on a near and long-term basis. Now, it's that long-term part that fills my heart with joy. Apparently, AMD plans on keeping their upcoming STRX4 socket for more than one generation. Of course, it doesn't give us an actual year or guarantee like they did with AM4, but it's good to see AMD isn't planning any new socket for a while. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for a potential NVIDIA killer or what about a 64-core CPU? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, definitely make sure to subscribe. And as always, have a great day.